Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It is a short week. So what I would like to do this week is actually wrap up our mini unit on equations. And we're going to do this two ways. You're going to have a quiz on literal equations, just solving for a given variable. But this is the other thing that you're going to be doing. It's going to be combining equations as well as all, as well as all the skills that we practiced uh, when it comes to word problems. So it's called, I'm calling it Mario Kart Equation Tour because all of the equations have something to do with Mario Kart. So if you're familiar with Mario Kart, awesome. But you do not have to know anything about Mario Kart in order to solve these equations. Everything will be right in the word problem. So the directions, uh, how it's set right here, our directions, for each word problem, use the box below to work out your answer. You can either show your work or explain what you did to show your problem. And I'm going to do one example for you to show you kind of what we're looking for. So, let me get rid of this. And there we go. So, Luigi receives 12 green shells for every two races he plays. How many green shells would Luigi have after five races if he used nine shells along the way? So, as always, when we are solving, solving an equation, we first look for the numbers we're going to use. So I've got 12, 2, 5, and 9. And now the question says, how many shells would he have? That's really what I'm trying to answer. Uh, I'm told how many shells he gets for every two races. I know that he's in five races, but then he also used nine of those. So I'm putting a box around used because that tells me that I'm going to be taking away nine shells from my final answer. So. I've got a couple of ways, like I said, of doing this. So here's an example of what I did. So I set up my first proportion. I have 12 green shells for every two races. 12 over 2 equals x plus 9 over 5, because I know that if I'm using 9 shells, my final answer of x is going to be 9 less than what the final would be. And there's a couple of different ways of solving this, but this is the one that I chose. Uh, so I cross multiplied, giving me 12 times 5 is 60, and then 2 times the quantity x plus 9. So 2 times the quantity x plus 9 equals 60. x plus 9 equals 30. And then I subtract 9 from both sides, giving me 21 shells left. Now I wrote mine out, and I did mine right here in the box. This this box that you see with the uh, black around it, you can type right into that. You could also tell me what you did. Say, Luigi would have 30 shells after five races, but he would only be left with 21. So my correct answer is 21. I could have written out there, he started with this, he has 12 green shells for every two races, actually means that for every one race, he gets six shells. 6 times 5 is 30, and if I subtract 9 from that, I'm still left with 21. So I've got a couple of different ways of solving this equation. Or for those of you that do better with working it out on pencil and paper, you can take a picture of your work and put that right in the box as well and attach that to this page. So you've got a bunch of different ways of solving this. But as you can see, for each one, I still get my answer. Get my draw tool out here. I'm gonna, I still have my answer of 21 shells, 21 shells, and even written out 21 shells. So good luck. You have a few days to work on this. So take your time. Uh, each slide is going to be a different equation. 
You can solve it right on the slide. You can solve it somewhere else and send that to me. But make sure that whatever you do, if you decide to like solve it on paper and then upload all of that, attach it to this file so that I can see, attach it to this lesson so I can see what you've done. Good luck and enjoy your Easter break. And when we come back, we're going to be moving on to bigger and better things. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day.